In the morgue, Gaddafi soldiers killed in the fight for Ashdabia and in the pockets of their uniforms, Viagra and condoms, weapons of war. If I will bring cadaver to the hospital, I will search in the pocket. I have seen Viagra and I have seen condoms also. And you ascertain from that that's why, because they were going to rape? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Here in the Mohammed M. Garif Hospital, Dr. Solomon Rafadi has treated two women in the past week who said they had been raped by Gaddafi's soldiers. Can you tell me what happened to them? Did, did, you, did you learn what exactly happened to One them? One of them was, was trying to, 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 to enter her, her child. Her child was in the street. He was looking in the street and she was trying to, to, to get him inside. So they have taken her out and they have taken it again. They have raped her. This is one one. The other one, they have entered the, her house because her house was very near to the Southern Gate, which is going to, to Albrega. They have entered this house and they have raped, they have raped this woman. The Gaddafi troops had said, those of your women who celebrate loudly, we will come and we will rape them. Dr. Abdul Rahim Akhil Najib is now heading to the front line to treat the injured rebels. On the walls outside the hospital, the names and photographs of those who disappeared over the past six days. Eight people who were bringing aid into Ajdabia were taken. 175 people have been reported missing in this area so far. Some people are finding graves where their loved ones have been killed and the Gaddafi troops have already buried them. Others are hoping that they've been taken to Tripoli and they're still alive. But Human Rights Watch have told us that if they're managing to get through on their mobile phones, they're being told by a stranger on the other end of the line, yes, they're in Tripoli, you can come and collect their bodies. Three doctors are missing. They had gone just two streets from the hospital to pick up some injured civilians, including a child. Their shot-up ambulance was found, but the doctors had vanished. Many people who had fled before Gaddafi's troops retook the city are returning to find their homes in ruins, but their city now safe and free. The people of Ajdabia are beginning to smile, to believe the Gaddafi regime has now gone and, as the front line moves further and further away, to dare to believe it will never return. Sutert and Al Jazeera, Ajdabia. <laughs>